Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Brendan and welcome back to the Crypto Analyst channel. And today I want to talk about the real reason why the crypto markets just crashed. And the truth is, there was actually several catalysts that contributed to the massive sell-off that we saw yesterday across the crypto markets as a whole. Now, if you're not familiar with what's happened, don't worry, I'm gonna go over each one of the reasons why this crash happened in the first place and talk a little bit about the future of crypto and what we can expect moving forward as well. So for those of you who are just tuning in, you're looking at the markets and saying, what in the world just happened? Well, yesterday we saw a pretty big sell-off in the evening where most cryptos were down around 10 to 20%. It doesn't matter if it was Bitcoin, a mainstream altcoin, or even a microcap coin. Uh, the crypto market was hit pretty hard yesterday evening and i want to talk about why this massive liquidation happened so with us seeing around 800 million dollars in liquidations yesterday that marks one of the biggest sell-offs one of the biggest liquidation periods that we've actually seen in a really really long time on crypto and so all of this stems from a couple of primary reasons and i want to get into the first one because this is what's circling around the most is that hey SpaceX sold off all of its Bitcoin and we're looking at these reports and SpaceX sold off reportedly $373 million worth of Bitcoin. And this is actually the first thing that I want to clarify because it's not confirmed. We know that they've probably gotten rid of some Bitcoin. That pretty much is confirmed. What we don't know yet is how much Bitcoin was truly sold, at least not from the articles that are live yet. I know there's people out there claiming and saying, no, we know that they sold all of it. It's not confirmed yet. Um, but it looks to be true. And we know that SpaceX did decrease the amount of Bitcoin uh, that they had on its balance sheet. And so what we can see over here is that, hey, in the past couple of years, we know that SpaceX recorded $373 million worth of Bitcoin on its balance sheets. However, what we are now seeing is that SpaceX has wrote down the value of Bitcoin that it owns by a total of $373 million last year. And so this is where a lot of the questions are being raised. And again, I want to further the point that it hasn't been confirmed whether the entire $373 million was sold already or whether it was most. It could have very well have been with the sell-off that we saw. It could very well be, but we are still waiting for a little bit more information to come out over here. And this was one of the big reasons why the crypto market crashed. Now, we also have one of the biggest real estate Mongols of China uh, coming over and declaring for bankruptcy, actually filing for bankruptcy protection in a Manhattan court. So if you're not familiar with Evergrande, they are huge when it comes to the Chinese real estate market. Uh, they are just a massive player in the space. And most of us are probably familiar with who they are, but if you're not, I wanna make sure that that's known. Again, they are just an absolute giant of the Chinese economy. And so the fears that are circulating around right now outside of what was happening with SpaceX, the big fears tend to be what's happening in the Asian markets. Uh, there's a lot of, I almost wanna call it FUD, but it's almost justified. There's a lot of like really scary stuff happening in the decline of Asian markets, specifically in China and with what's happening over there. And it just went from really bad to even worse than it already was. And so that's causing a lot of people to kind of freak out and go, oh my God, like, you know, it was already bad before, but now it's getting even worse. Now, why should this have a direct impact on crypto? I mean, I don't know. I think it's just people being scared and wanting to get out of on-risk investments. And so I think that's where a lot, of, a lot of this discussion kind of stemmed from. And from my reading around and exploring, it just seems like, People are nervous with what's happening over in the economy of, of Asia, you know, again, specifically China. And that's why they're kind of being a little bit more scared to invest in things like uh, crypto. Now, the final thing that I wanna talk about over here is what's happening over on NASDAQ. Because yeah, we saw that the Chinese economy was on the decline, um, but the US economy, things like NASDAQ aren't looking too great either. Uh, so NASDAQ came up on, I think it was July 19th, which was a Wednesday, uh, it topped out over here at a lower high than its previous high from back in 2021, came out, topped out at a lower high, uh, which is not a good sign, and then immediately broke down through the 20-day moving average, tested it as resistance, fell through the 50-day moving average, 
tested it as a resistance, and then continued in the free fall. And so now if we zoom out on this chart, uh, NASDAQ's very, very far from its 200-day moving average, which is the last place that it really truly bounced at beneath the 20 and the 50-day moving averages, which were previously pretty big support levels for NASDAQ. So now that NASDAQ's in a free fall, I'm sure a lot of people saw that Michael Burry just opened up his quote-unquote uh, big short 2.0. And a lot of people are kind of believing that, hey, China's economy is heading down. The U.S. is not doing so great. It's kind of in a free fall as well. And now SpaceX is selling off its crypto. And all of these catalysts together are coming and forming this perfect storm event where the price of Bitcoin just saw this massive liquidation fest yesterday. Now, the tough thing for Bitcoin here is that it broke its 200 day moving average. And that was a big one that most people thought it would hold. A lot of us, including myself, uh, really thought that Bitcoin would come back down here to support around this 200 day moving average. And that would be the area that it bounced at. And it didn't, it sold off right through it. And that's a little bit of a scary thing to see. So the way that I'm looking at this situation, again, I can't give you legal, financial or tax advice or anything like that. But the way that I'm looking at this is I am more so looking at getting either one, things that I really truly believe in long term, or the big caps. I'm not too focused at the moment on making like short term longs on altcoins. Again, if there's something I, I believe in long term, you know, I'll probably accumulate some. Um, but yesterday, as soon as this crash happened, actually just below where the current price is, is where I was buying Bitcoin and Ethereum. And I'll probably continue to do that. So again, I can only say what I'm doing. I can't give you any kind of advice. Um, but with these kind of crashes, these present really decent opportunities. I, would, I don't even want to say decent. They present really like potentially good buying opportunities. And I, again, I have to be careful with how I word that because of uh, YouTube's policies. But, you know, these are exciting times. And, you know, while this is happening, this kind of it's just that electric feeling that we haven't had in a while. And so and no matter if the markets are going down or up or whatever, what I want to kind of announce here is that nothing bad happened to crypto. And that's the funny thing about all of this is that it's like, oh, the Chinese economy is falling. The United States economy is falling. Um, SpaceX might have sold some Bitcoin, um, but nothing bad has happened to crypto. It's not like, oh, Ethereum was just attacked. There was just a massive hack. Bitcoin's going offline. It's nothing like that. Uh, it's not like companies are stopping and not using cryptocurrency or the ETFs got rejected. Nothing bad has happened to the crypto markets here. It's just more so the traditional markets seeing a little bit of heat and people are kind of uh, getting a little scared because of it. So um, if there's one thing that you can take away from this video, no bad news really came out about crypto uh, for the most part. And in fact, in recent months, we've seen a ton of really great news. And it's a shame that news like this can actually push the markets down more so than the great news that we've gotten in recent months can push the market up. So that's going to bring us to the end of today's video, everyone. Moving forward, I am actually, you know, I've kind of already said this, but I am looking to accumulate more Bitcoin on the dips over here and same with Ethereum, a couple of altcoins as well. Um, I'm not too nervous. You know, it is a little bit scary to see things in a free fall like this, but you know, I'd rather buy when things are down double digits than when they were up double digits. And uh, kind of goes back to that old saying of, of buy low, sell high. So I hope all of you did enjoy today's market update and finding out everything that was happening on the, the Bitcoin charts and especially in the news, because when this dump happened, a lot of us had questions like what in the world is going on here? Uh, and I couldn't find questions readily available until later in the evening yesterday. So for all of you that were left wondering, I hope this cleared everything up. And if you have questions, ask those down in the comment section down below. And also a big announcement. I should have said this at the beginning of the video, but we're going to be moving to one video a week on the channel here. And that one video is going to be coming out on Fridays. Now, if you want to see the second video that I normally make, go over to the Crypto 101 YouTube channel and I'm going to be posting my second video over there. So Wednesday's video is going to be on Crypto 101. Friday's video is going to be on the Crypto Analyst channel here. I'm also going to be the new co-host of the Crypto 101 podcast. I'm sure a lot of you are probably familiar with it, but it's big news. And uh, 
that's going to start happening really soon here. So stay tuned over there, subscribe to Crypto 101, and I'll see all of you in next week's videos.